Right, hi guys. Um, thank you very much for joining me. It's a freezing cold morning here, but I decided to come out into the workshop and have a little bit of a tinker. Um, there's a little project that I want to get on with, and um, I'll tell you very, very quickly what it is. It gives me the ability to plug into the uh, 991 and have a remote PTT and also uh, a remote control for the voice keyer. All will become clear in a second, I'll explain exactly what it is and why I need it. But uh, yeah, hopefully you stay with me and hopefully you like the video. So let's get straight into it and let's get cracking. Right, so this is the reason why I want to do this. Um, a few months ago I was up a hill um, in the van doing a contest. Now when I'm doing a contest typically I'll wear a headset and normally I've got my laptop in front of me for logging so I haven't got enough hands. Now with um, the contest it's it's very quick bursts of, of um, overs so you know 5-9, Italy Oscar 9-2 blah blah blah. So what I want to do is number one to a certain extent automate the calling so when you call in CQ contest CQ contest that becomes very very repetitive and a lot of radios have got the ability to record that and then play it back and all you have to do is choose on the menu on the 991 for instance which which recording you want to play press the button and Bob's your uncle the only problem is it takes your attention away from where you're looking, which is um, on, on your desk where the laptop is. You've literally got to look to the radio and look to the button and press that particular button. So what I wanted was the ability to have something in front of me, next to the laptop, so that literally I could press a button and it would call CQ Contest, CQ Contest, or press the button next to it and it would go CQ Contest M0 XMX, press another button and then it would give a longer call because on the 991 you've actually got five memories so five buttons and the other thing which I, I did make a while ago and, and I use it a lot is just a little box with two buttons on it to do the PTT because again I um, haven't got enough hands to be picking up a microphone and type him and all this kind of stuff so literally just having a button next to the laptop that I can press and it, and it um, goes into, uh, into transmit, press it again and then it comes out of transmit. So that's what I want to create. So this is my circuit diagram, this is exactly what I want to achieve. Basically what we've got is five switches, one for each one of the memories and the, the memories are triggered by um, resistance values register in the radio a certain resistance when each one of the five buttons is triggered. For this job, literally, I've got a little plastic ABS box off of eBay. Um, I've got five little push button uh, switches and I've also got a bag of these variable resistors. So that takes care, really, to a large extent, the voice keyer. And then for the uh, the other part of it, the PTT, literally two switches. One is a latching switch, and by latching, what that means is it toggles on and off. So off, on, off, on. Okay, and the other one is referred to as a momentary switch, which is this, which doesn't toggle and it doesn't latch. It's only on when you're holding it down and when you let go of it, it's, it's back into its uh, off state.
Each one of these switches, according to my diagram, has to have a specific resistance. And the beauty of using these variable resistors is the fact that we can actually tune the resistance that we need. So, the first thing that we need to do is basically common up the one side of these switches and then out the other side we'll have the resistor which will effectively then go to the radio. Beautiful. So that's commoned up all of the uh, the switches on that side. Now what I've done is um, I've I've actually tuned these to the correct resistance. We could always tweak them slightly after the fact, but I've tw I've tuned them to the the correct resistance as required. And what I've done is I've numbered them. So it really is as simple as getting them in the right order. So this one will be number one, which is that one there. So all we need to do now is solder in turn each one onto the other side of the switch. If you like these videos, then why not click the like button? That inspires me to do more. And also, if you'd like to see more of them, then go ahead and subscribe. And also, don't forget the little bell. That will notify you when there's new content. What we need to do is common those up as well. Right, so we're really getting there now, aren't we? And then all we're going to do is we're going to turn this screw here and we're screwing it down till we get to 1330 hopefully. Okay. How's that? This is nice and easy, just hold them on there. Hopefully that should go high, yes it does. And hopefully that should stay high, yes it does. Right, well, we're nearly done. Um, I've got it all plugged in. I'll just show you what I've uh, lashed up just to test it. So here we've got the 991. Uh, this is a bit of a cable that I made uh, a while ago and it just allows me to have uh, a headset microphone plugged in and a PTT. So I've literally got my PTT box plugged into there and then that's where you would stick the headset mic. Um, it's just an RJ45 cap patch lead uh, just you know with a couple of connectors on. Um, I've also got um, a dummy load which for those of you that don't know what a dummy load is it's just basically a, a big 50 ohm resistor so that the, uh, the radio doesn't blow up because I haven't got an antenna plugged into it. And I'm powering it using my trusty LifePo 4 battery. 
Um, I've plugged this into the PTT and in the back you'll see down here um, I've got the the other cable plugged into what's called the, the REM stroke ALC socket. Right, so hopefully when I press the PTT button you'll hear it cut over to transmit and you'll see the green go from green to red. Okay, you ready? Perfect, latching. Perfect. Now, these are the memories that I was talking about. So, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, channel 5. These are already being recorded. So, as an example, channel 1 says this. CQ contest, CQ contest. Mic 0, X-ray mic, X-ray portable. So, pressing this button, number 1, should say the same. CQ contest, CQ contest. Mic 0, X-ray mic, X-ray portable. Exactly the same with channel 2. CQ contest, mic zero, x-ray mic, x-ray portable. Channel three. Mic zero, x-ray mic, x-ray portable contest. Four. CQ contest, CQ contest, mic zero, x-ray mic, x-ray portable. Italy, Oscar, nine, three square, standing by. And five. Hello CQ, hello CQ, CQ two meters. CQ, 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 mic zero, x-ray, mic, x-ray, portable. Calling CQ and bye for any calls. There you go. Simple as that. Have a go yourself. Um, hopefully you found it interesting. If you have, then please click the like button. That will keep me inspired to do another video. And if you like the style of the videos and you've watched enough of them to feel that you'd like to support the channel, well, click the subscribe button. And, um, and also, there's a little bell down there as well that you can press and that will notify you when there's any new videos. So for now, anyway, thanks very much for watching and take care and enjoy radio. 7-3. Bye-bye.